Hey bosses, it's Nina. And I don't know why I said my name like that. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you how to create Instagram story highlights. If you don't know what highlights are, they're these little icons down at the bottom. And really what they are is when you create your Instagram stories, they only last for 24 hours. So you create a story, it stays up there for 24 hours. If you don't know how to create a story and you want me to do a tutorial on that, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll get on that. But after you create your story, there might be some things that you wanna keep or highlight. And so, for instance, if I have YouTube videos, business apps, I have a couple of different things that I might wanna highlight. I think I have something in YouTube. So these are things that I've posted on Instagram stories and it will go through and it will play, if you see at the top, each of your items in that highlight, right? So you're kind of organizing your stories and it will go on to the next highlight and then the next highlight. And so basically, instead of having your stories for 24 hours, they live on forever and ever. This is a great time to remind you to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, sociallynina.com. My birthday is tomorrow, so I'll be starting um, a new wave of um, Instagram posts. I said after I get to the 1st of August, I'm going to start creating a bunch of Instagram stuff, so look out for that. Anyways, let's go through how to create these um, story icons using PicMonkey, right? And then I'll either do this in this video, I haven't decided, or I'll do a separate video on how to actually add stories and separate and all of that kind of stuff. And I'll probably break it up. All right, let's go. So actually, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get some icons so I can use here. You can use icons, you can use images. Notice I used a picture of myself there. It works better with icons and they're very, very cute. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for some free icons. It's really easy on your phone. I'm just gonna go to Google and I have my little search bar here. And I'm gonna look for, um, I can just say free icons and I'm going to type in PNG because I want the background to be transparent. Another way you can do that is you can actually type in free icons and you can type in transparent oops if I could spell it right transparent backgrounds right and notice that you have a lot that say clear icons, 100, blah, 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 blah. You have all of these icons, right? Another way you can do that is just go to images on Google. And usually I'll look for the item. So I can say computer, and actually I want it to be a certain color. So I can say white computer icon transparent background. And that's the third one down. Okay, now usually if you see white, you'll see white and then you'll see the black in the background. That just means that the background is transparent. Another way you can tell if it's transparent, if you see these lines, usually, actually not the lines, these little things right here. Let me just click on it. Right? This one's 70 cents, so it's obviously not free. So you would download that. This one you would pay for, so be careful. You do want to make sure it's free. I'm just going to go to um, another... Let me just tell you, there's a site called Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y, that has free clips, clip art. There's a lot of different clip art um, sites that you can get them for free. You can also download them from your computer. I'm also going to show you at the top, you'll see that it says GIF. I'm actually pointing with, at it with my phone. Um, you could see the different types of um, clip art, computer screen, all of that. So you can kind of filter up here for the colors and things like that. I'm just going to choose the first one because it says free white computer. So I'm just going to click on it. You see where that is. Okay. Okay. The best thing to do from here is you can just click on the three dots. I can say open with, and if you already have PicMonkey installed, I'm going to click on PicMonkey. Right. And then I'm just going to save it to my hub. Very, very easy. Then I go look for the other images that I need and then I'm basically done finding my images. So I'm gonna go back to PicMonkey. If you haven't worked with PicMonkey before, I have tons of tutorials on my channel. Go ahead and look for those. Um, I'm just gonna go through the app. They have just recently updated the app so it might look a little bit different to you. 
I'm going to create a blank canvas, but what I'm going to do is when I click on blank canvas, I am going to choose the size of a story because it is an Instagram story. So I'm just scrolling at the bottom. So I'm going to stories. That's it. I want the background so you can do patterns. I love these patterns. You can change the colors, all of those kind of things. I wouldn't suggest that for here. For this, you want a clear background or pattern. But I am going to scroll over so I can show you something. These are my brand colors here. You can add your own brand colors by clicking on the plus. You put in the hex number or whatever number you have, and then they stay there. I love that. Absolutely love it. Anyways, I'm going to actually do a solid background, and I am going to choose my pink color. I've obviously already created these. Um, and so after that, you just click on Next. Make sure you have it the way you want because you can't really go back to the background. Okay. In order to add something from your hub, you're going to scroll all the way to your right and click on Stickers. Now, these are all of my items in my, well, these are the last things I created from the app, but I'm going to go to hub, and now I can see my actual hub on, um, now I can't think of what it's called, on PicMonkey, all right? So I'm going to go to hub, and then this would be under unsorted. So there you go. So there's my new computer. I'm just going to click on it. And it's kind of tricky. You're going to have to play with this a little bit because you have to stretch and move and all that kind of stuff once you get on stories. It was actually easier for me to have it as a smaller icon and stretch it out than it is to um, have it as a larger icon. Now, I'm using PicMonkey. You can use whatever app you use for graphics. I'm just using two fingers to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to click on it and move it. And you do want to make sure it's in the middle. So when you go like this, when you see the two lines crossing, that means it's exactly in the middle. I'm going to click on save. We'll check mark and then save and save it down. You can save it to your hub or you can save it down to your photos. And then all you would do, you don't have to go through those steps again unless you want to change the background color. But I can actually just click on this. Come on. Oh, actually, I have to go back to stickers, then click on it. You want to have that element selected. And then I can delete that. And then I just go back, add, and then you can add your next icon. I obviously don't have another icon, but you don't have to go through those steps over and over again. That's a trick I use with a lot of different graphic design. I create the background and then I just do it over and over again. All right. All right. So now that I have it down there, all I'm going to do is upload it to my story. And I'm actually not logged in as social. Now at the top, I love her. She's a rapper and she's, she's just amazing. Anyways, um, at the top, you'll see your stories, right? And actually to get here, um, so this is your normal profile. This is my personal Instagram, randomly Nina. But on your lower left-hand corner, you'll see home. So I'm going to click on home. And then at the top left-hand corner, well, and at the top, you'll see everybody else's stories. And you're just going to click on the camera. Now, usually this would be facing yourself or facing the background. I have my cover on. In your lower left-hand corner, you're going to click on those images. That's going to go to your phone gallery, right? And you'll see I have different items here, and you'll see my icon that I have. So I'm just going to upload that to the story and click on Send, and that's all, right? Now, after you share it's going to say add to highlights. If it doesn't say that, don't worry about it. So if you click on add to highlights, you can do it there. But I'm just going to click on done. Right? And then when I click on done, it's in my story. So if you don't see that add to highlights there, you can click on your own story and notice there's a highlight button. Click on highlight. Create a new. And now this is perfect, which is good, but this is just going to be so YouTube video test, right? I'll just say YouTube test so people don't think I'm creating something. Okay, and I'm gonna do add. Now for any reason, if it doesn't turn out right, what you do, so see how it's small? So I can go to YouTube test, I can click on more, and I can edit my highlight, okay? I click on edit cover and then I can stretch it out. Now the problem is you can't really stretch it in, right? It bounces back. That's why I said it's better to make it small. And then all you have to do is stretch it out to make it larger. So the trick is to make it small 
and then stretch it out so it's larger. I'm gonna click on done and done. And there you go, perfect little highlight, right? And so your highlights are there and you can change them around. I can't remember how you can change them, but if you click on edit, you can also um, remove that, add another one. You could send your entire highlight. You can add additional items here. It's just, there's a lot you can do. If you have questions about this, just holla at me in the comments, but I think that's it for now. PicMonkey's new um, platform in, in, in general is going to be amazing. They're working on the beta version, but um, you could do a lot of this in PicMonkey. You can do it in Canva. You can do it on your desktop. Just choose the right size. I just wanted to show you PicMonkey because you could do it on your phone. But that's basically how to create a story highlight. Let me know if you have any questions, um, especially about Instagram. I'm trying to do more Instagram videos but i don't know what you guys need to know check out some of my other videos that i have here on the screen love you ciao